Hey guys, so um, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make or seal a bottle. And so in this video I'm going to tell you guys the gender of my baby because I just can't wait to tell you guys. And so as you guys may see by the ring and by the bottle itself, I am having a girl reborn. And so that is so very exciting to me and I just couldn't wait to tell you guys. So I decided to tell you now. Um, with all the videos I could be making, uh, I just couldn't not tell you guys the gender. Um, I'm sorry if there's any background noise. Um, we've got three dogs, so um, I'll get to the video. So what you're going to need is a tissue or something to wipe your hands on. Um, some silicone glue, and this is clear RTV silicone adhesive sealant. And I'm hoping I'm getting this in the camera because I can't really see it. Um, and then your bottle. So I took the bottle apart. I'm going to put this over here because I don't really need it. Okay, I can put that over here. So all you're going to need today is the nipple or the top part of your bottle and the silicone sealant and your tissue or paper towel or napkin or something. So what you're going to do, and I'm trying to be, um, or trying to show you guys exactly what I'm doing without putting it right in the camera. So. You're going to take your sealant and you're going to cut the top off because, or if you haven't already, because um, the top is always sealed off when you first get the glue. And then you're going to take your bottle and you're going to stick the sealant right around the little circle. And you're going to squeeze the glue until a little bit of glue pops out the top and a little bit is popped out. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I'm just going to sort of pat it down around so that it seals the outside as well as the inside. And then if you guys have globs like I do, you can sort of try to work it out. I don't know, mine's not really working. Okay, and then if you guys have holes around the bottle, you're going to need to seal those off too because the um, fake milk could get out. So what you're going to need to do is seal those off from the outside. So you're going to squeeze a little glue and have it come through the inside and pat it down. Um, I don't have any holes on this bottle that it could go out of so I am done with that part. Okay, and then you can if you have holes, you can keep it out like this and let it dry. Or you can, if you don't, you can be careful and pop it in. Make sure I don't touch the glue. And you can pop it in and let it dry as a bottle. Oops. And that's how you seal it. And then, um, I will tell you guys how you put the fake milk in and make the fake milk. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so this is the second half of my video. It's on the same video but at a different time because um, I had to let this bottle seal overnight so it's a different day. Um, what you're going to do is you're probably going to fill the bottle about one-fourth or maybe a little bit less with water. I'm going to let a little bit of this go. Okay. So that should be good. If you guys want to do a little less, I think that's pretty good too. Okay, and then what I've got here is I've got an Ultra Downy Infusions and it's um, a fabric softener. And then I've also got an imitation vanilla extract here. If you guys can see that, there's that. And then there's this. And 
I don't need that for now. Okay, so then I'm going to take this fabric softener. I'm going to fill it so that it's halfway. So on mine, it would be to the 3 or to the 90. And I'm going to try to put this on the video. I think that's about good. And you want to, you don't want to do it too full. You could do it full, but um, I don't like it being too full because then it looks like they're sort of drinking it. So, or they're drinking some. And then you put a little bit of this in. Not too much though, because you don't want it to be brown. And then you put on the cap and hope that this does not that you sealed it right. And uh, I was going to do the water test, but I forgot. Um, but the water test is just before you put the downy or the fabric softener and before you put the vanilla in, you sort of shake it up so that um, uh, you're just doing, you're shaking it to make sure that this is sealed and then you're not wasting your downy or your imitation vanilla or vanilla extract um, until you know that if it's not sealed but this is what you do you shake it good and mine's a little bit on the brown side but it still looks like milk and it's better to have like where the fabric softener isn't um, isn't low because then it starts to get watery so shake it and so far nothing's coming out not even around the sides coming out. So then you just sort of push it and right now it's not coming out. I'll try to show you guys. It hasn't come out on my fingers yet so that's good. And then I always like to do this too. Push it in and then push it out and then shake it just to make sure I got it. So, um, if you guys can see, this looks just like real milk. And um, I think I p did a pretty good job on sealing it for my first time. So, um, nothing's coming out. It's not, I don't have any water or um, anything on my hands. So, I think I did a pretty good job. So, I'm very proud of myself for my first time. Um, it's really easy. So all I used in the whole video was this downy fabric softener. This one is in infusions and I have the honey flower as the infusion, but then there's different kinds and then you don't have to have special kinds, it's just what I had in my house. You can go to Walmart and get cheap kind, it doesn't really matter. And then you can get a cheap kind of vanilla, but this is what I had for baking, so I figured I'd just use a little bit of this. And then obviously a bottle. And then you're going to need the silicone sealant. Um, I got mine at Walmart for about like $5. So you need that to put on the cap or on the top. And you've got yourself a bottle. I hope you guys like the video and please subscribe. Thanks.